Leon Ko. Good morning, Your Honor. My name is Leon Ko. You have one overnight parking ticket on Doyle Avenue. That goes back six months ago. Then you have an overnight parking on Doyle Avenue again, and then you have a red light violation on North Main Street and Branch Avenue. Light is yellow, red. Okay, the light is red already. Look where your vehicle is. You see where the vehicle is? Yeah. All right, let it go. And there he goes, right through the light. Okay, I think we can both agree that you went through the light. I have three cars. One for my wife, one for my son, yeah. and one for myself. All registered on my name. The white car is my, my son driving it. Your son? How old yeah. is your son? He's 18. 18? Yeah, he went to Johnson Well University. Where is he now? Right now, where is he? He's in my house. Well, he's sleeping, and you're over here. Why don't you have him come over here? No, because he have to go to school at 9.30. Yeah, well. This morning, yeah. But court began at 8 o'clock. Yeah. So you should, see, that's the problem, right? Yeah. If you woke him up this morning, say, come on, you're getting up, you're going to be in court this morning, and you're going to be held accountable. Yeah, I was thinking about that, but when I realized he had to get ready to go to school at oh, night, oh, so oh, I did. Yeah, you let him go. All right, so you're going, to, you're going to come and you're going to face the music for him. Yeah. Right, what are you going to tell him when you go home? You're going to tell him you owe me 85 bucks? Uh. Mr. Kale. I know your son's in college. I suspect you're a hardworking guy. If it was close, I'd give you a break. It's not even close. Yeah, I it's see not that. Even close. Yeah. All right. he's, he, he's also got a parking ticket on Doyle Avenue. There's two overtime tickets. They're outside your house on Doyle Avenue that have not been paid yet. Now, I'm going to give you a break on the overnight parking ticket. Okay. okay. But you better talk to this kid. Yeah, I will. Why should you be coming down here? I know, we all, listen, I have four sons. All we want to do is see our kids succeed. We want to sacrifice to make sure they do good in life. We lecture them. But I'll tell you what's even better than the lecture. If this morning you woke them up real early and said, you're coming to court, I'm going to talk to the judge to get you out of there fast, but you're facing the music. And if he does it again, wake him up, shake yes. him, get him dressed, throw him in the shower, get him here in court, yes. and let me talk to him. Yes. You got it? Yes. Good luck. Thank okay. You, Juan Troncoso. <clears throat> Mr. Troncoso, you're charged with parking on the sidewalk on Berkshire Street. Uh, that's actually uh, my girlfriend's vehicle. She came to uh, visit me on March 25th on my birthday, and I was the one that had parked the vehicle on the sidewalk. I didn't know that it was uh, against the law, but I parked it on the sidewalk because there was also another vehicle on the other side of the road, and there's also a speed bump in front of the house, so I didn't want my girlfriend's car to get sideswiped because there was limited uh, space. You, you would end up losing a romance because of the car, right? You can't do that. Yeah, no, nah, I didn't want to get her upset. Are you guys engaged or anything like that? Uh, no. She would love to, but I'm not ready yet. Wow. <laughs> You're not supposed to say that. I'm, she might be getting engaged, Your Honor. Probably not to him, though, after this goes out. <laughs> You're not supposed to say that. You're supposed to say, Your Honor, she's a lovely girl. She's, she's a beautiful. lovely woman. I, I she, care she's for her a lot. She's beautiful. Beautiful, she, beautiful young she's lady. She's smart. Very smart. Very yeah, smart. I see. Yeah. So, you know, and you never know, things, nice things could happen. They definitely can. Yeah, not, yeah, she'd like to, not me. You're a big macho guy, you know. I, I, no. I just don't like being forced when uh, yeah. I like to take You just wait time. until she sees this, right? Oh, man. Oh, boy, you're in trouble. Anything else you want to say? Maybe you want to apologize to her? Asia, I am so sorry. I am so sorry. I'm trying to fight for you right now, mommy. I'm so sorry. All right, see? <laughs> Give the guy a break, okay? Give him a break. All right, it's $30. All right, thank you very much. All right. Can we all just take a moment to imagine what's happening in this poor young man's life right now? His girlfriend, the lovely and smart Asia, his words, not mine, has just heard him say on national television that while she'd love to get married, he's not ready yet. Then he doubles down and says, I don't like being forced. Wow. Dead man walking. Good luck, brother. Michael Hicks. Mr. Hicks, you have four red light violations and three parking tickets. Um, I, up until a couple weeks ago, I was working at Shanghai, 
uh, restaurant on Thayer Street in Providence. Um, and all these parking tickets, these are at places where the, uh, the meter ladies told us that we were okay to park. And then another woman would come around and give me a ticket because she was different from the first lady. I had to deal with that a lot of times. Well, let me explain something to you. Okay. One of these tickets is for overtime parking. No okay. parking enforcement officer is going to tell you that you can park in an area for longer than the prescribed period of time. Another ticket is parking 25 feet to a corner. It's a city ordinance that you can't park 25 feet to, in front of any corner in Providence. Okay. Right. So I don't know of any parking enforcement officer that's going to tell you you can park there. The third ticket was parking in a prohibited area, which meant basically that there was a sign saying no parking. Additionally, you have four red light violations. Your Honor, can I just add one more thing about these parking things? I know, I know they wouldn't tell me to park there, but I'm just running up to get food and come back out. So they told me while I would keep are my you, car you, running outside and going up and getting food that I would be okay to do that, but then yet I'd still be getting tickets. You didn't tell me that. I you, know, I'm sorry. You I, told me you worked for a restaurant on Thayer Street. And then, yeah, I didn't get to finish the rest of it. And the park enforcement officer said you could park there. Yeah, and we you, had... But now what you're telling me is you deliver food. Well, yeah, I'm a delivery driver. Well, I didn't know that. I mean, okay. I, I don't have these extra sensory powers okay. that I can understand that. Sorry, right? I didn't fully explain Your Honor, to you. I'm just learning now. There are other jobs in a restaurant other than delivery. <laughs> Should have clarified that. There we go. <laughs> I'm a delivery driver. I'm in and out all the time. I have a sign on my dashboard. I got says, it. I got it. Okay. I got it. You deliver food, right? You want to make sure it gets there fast. Yes. While it's still hot. Yes. Right? And it takes you like maybe four minutes, five maybe, minutes if to get the food upstairs, hope, hope, hoping you get a big tip. Yes. How are the tips? Pretty good? Yeah. For the most part, you take the good with the bad, but <laughs> I, I mean, it was a good job up until two weeks ago they shut down, so yeah, now you, I have no but, job in a big parking lot. But you were doing pretty good raking in the tips and stuff, I was, right? yeah. But I'm happy to hear that, because now I can find you more money, <laughs> so that's the whole purpose of asking that question. If that's how that works. <laughs> Um, Inspector well, Quinn, you want to do these uh, tickets, these uh, red lights individually? Well, Judge, I just uh, got some bad news just now. I mean, I have a, uh, a gift card for Shanghai, so <laughs> <laughs> clearly I'd like to apply that to this yeah. gentleman's fine. <laughs> they probably gave you that the last week. Oh, you got a problem? Come on back. We'll give you a gift card. So unfortunately, that's useless to me, but no, Your Honor, Lisa has them up if we just have the last three other dates. This is on Smith and Sharkstone. Oh, that's the intersection over there? All right, guilty, can, I'm guilty uh, on that one. I, I know there's is, at least two of them where the light I is, The light is red. Okay. And there you go through the light. Okay, so it's going to cost you two red light violations. It's going to be $170. It's going to cost you a total of $200. That'll work for me. Thank you, Your Honor. Good luck, Mr. Hicks. Thank you very much, sir. All rise and hit subscribe so you don't miss the latest viral moments like this one. Share these videos and weigh in on the cases. You be the judge. Subscribe now.